Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, guys, thank you very much for clicking on this video and uh, welcome to my YouTube video. I'm going to do a review on one of the news which you probably have heard or maybe read on YouTube or somewhere that Bill Gates predicted coronavirus pandemic in 2015. Well, I watched quite a few uh, recent interviews of Bill Gates and he very clearly mentioned these uh, indications in the past where he was quite seriously talking about a pandemic. Uh, the interesting thing is, was in 2015, and is one of these TED talks where he sort of brought uh, brought a big battle out uh, on the stage, and he said, you know, back in days we were scared of having a nuclear war, so we used to keep these battles in our in our basements, and we used to we used to store water and food and necessities so we can survive if there's a nuclear war. But then he clearly mentioned that you know there are bigger bigger worries than a war, and that is. Uh, pandemic he he just sort of uh, you know highlighted few things like earthquakes uh, you know uh, volcanic eruptions and you're talking about uh, floods and things like that because these uh, disasters still you know manageable they will happen in one place and one part of the earth where the other countries can rush in to help and you know things can go back to but there'll be like a one area where the focus uh, there will be but there will be no you know this sort of situation where people are scared from each other. But looking at the pandemic, this coronavirus is completely destroyed the whole, uh, you know, um, global village, in, in other words, that because everybody is scared, you know, we, we are scared to handshake, we are scared to go out, we are scared to, to stand next to each other, we are scared, you know, scared to talk to people. So, you know, it's, it's, it was very, very, uh, you know, eye-opening for me that there's the somebody who's, because you're probably not aware that Bill Gates has a, a you know, uh, it's a very good system in place where he's, he looks at the poor countries and he looks at the pandemics, he looks at the polio, he, he, he has, uh, you know, given a lot of money in charities, especially in the poor countries where he's running a lot of uh, programs where he's helping the kids who have got a polio, the free polio vaccination. You know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, good programs that Bill Gates is working on. And I'm surprised that this guy has clearly said in 2015 that, you know, the things that, you know, the thing, the main thing we need to be worried in future is the pandemic. Because this pandemic is one of those things where you won't be able to act in time if you're not prepared. And there is no money spent on the research and development. Don't forget, we had two little teasers, you can call it. And there was uh, SARS and MERS. And these were two pandemics, smaller level. We had Ebola as well. So these were the warnings for, for uh, developed countries to be, to, you know, to be prepared and do something about it or start preparing a vaccination and start trying on it. At least something to prevent or something to stop. But no developed country were looking into it. And maybe there were issues of financing, distributing, research and development and you know um, in terms of who's going to approve the vaccine or do we really need a vaccine you know or is it really scary or is it going to suppress that fast nobody has thought about it everybody was thinking right okay we'll see it's one of those things let it be you know let's affair let it be let's see what happens and look where we are now there were indications there was study there was research five years ago 2015 clearly oh you know a proper open stage uh you know debate that you know carried out by bill gates and he's, he's i can't say debate but it was a speech and he clearly identified the look you need to be you know investing more money into research and development there's no time for wars there's no time for fighting with each other because there's it's not possible anymore because there are groups in the whole world the countries are working together there are certain groups they, they work with each other so you can't really individually have a war with a, a single country one by one because they're all working with each other and what is you know clearly warned in that speech is that you know is the pandemic that he's worried about there might be a one virus that might just you know destroy everything and that's exactly what's happened now you know, it's like we is it, it took our freedom away. It, it took our, you know, entertainment away. We just simply, you know, inside our houses and scared. You know, we are scared of each other. Even the humans have become 
and the, you know the viruses themselves because we are the carriers we are taking viruses from one place to another so the, the way things are going is, is, is shocking is shocking and I'm very very disappointed that WHO has not paid any attention into this and even the rich countries developing country European country like United States UK Germany France Spain you know they should have looked into it and said right okay let's let's do something about it let's even prepare ourselves for the future and you know and let's let's work towards future forget about this making these missiles and, and fighter jets and you know you, you have this shows around the world the air show and somebody's showing f-16 and somebody's showing stealth 35 where have they gone your stealth 35 and your you know your falcons and your tages and your this and that you know just one invisible virus and you are scared as shit and you are sitting inside and you know you're scared to talk you're scared to handshake with people and you know on top of that you don't have any plan because you acted so late now you are just simply relying on the virus to vanish itself or you are literally you know standing on the head of scientists and saying that look do something about it do something about it you know find some vaccine do this do that and they you know science is not that easy it takes time it's got its own process to follow even if they are taking some sort of risk they will be really really scared and they will be warning the governments and around the globe and WHO as well look we are making this virus as you uh, instructed for you know but there, there will be consequences and like according to Bill Gates he clearly said that if you want to have a solid vaccine that's according to today's uh, you know technology and you know the, the development of the science and the, you know the way we have improved in so many uh, years we still, you know, we're still looking about 18 months. That's the minimum to get a solid vaccine. Normally, it could take up to five years or 10 years. But if the earliest we could get is 18 months, that's a long time to wait and see if the world economies can hang uh, for that long in that time and say, yeah, okay, we will keep feeding our people. And let's see if we can, we can hang till about, you know, we can hang around till about, I'm sorry, say my hang was we hang around till about 18 months and we'll take it from there. So it's scary, nobody has uh, thought about it now. Everybody's sort of like you know, thinking, like, well, you know, it's, it's too late, it's too late, guys. So, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, if this is the first time you watch this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to add or share your opinion, please feel free to do it in the comment section below. And if you want to watch this, Bill Gates video is on YouTube. If you type in Bill Gates pandemic prediction 2015 it will come up if not i will leave a link in the the description and you can click on the video and you can watch it for yourself and you will you will you will you know you'll be shocked that how clearly he he highlighted that look this is coming but nobody's paid attention thank you very much see you next time